Hello everyone, I am Anand CP, Department of Multimedia from Majil Science and Science College, Promano. In this video, we are going to discuss in about instructor-led training. So here we go. The instructor-led training is when an instructor facilitates a training session for a group of learners or an individual. While it can be conducted in person or online, the most important aspect is that the learners have real-time access to the instructor for feedback and discussion. It can be held in a few different ways. Webinar, online through video conferencing, one-to-one, -one, one learner to one instructor, small group, a small group of learners with one instructor in a classroom setting, lecture, a large group of learners with one instructor, workshop, hands-on training, you can make your instructor-led training engaging for your learners by including activities throughout the training session. Switching between lectures, discussions, activities, and hands-on practices are the best way to keep your learners engaged and able to retain the information. Here are some examples to use with our ILT. Sorry, the ILT stands for instructor-led training. Immersive technologies for activities, just like virtual reality or augmented reality, supplying a workbook with writing activities, open polling and response submissions, group discussions and debates, problem solving in small groups of prayers, role playing, quizzes and assessments also. And here is the pros and cons of instructor-led training. Open dialogue, adaptability, building a network, distraction-free environment, engaging and interactive open dialogue instructors are able to leverage learner questions to ensure they are retaining information learners have access to their instructors for immediate feedback there is value in having instructors and students face to face to real facial expressions and body language adaptability when your instructor can see and evaluate their learners in real time they have the opportunity to adapt their curriculum accordingly. If they have a more advanced group of students, they can move faster. If the learners need more time on a subject, they can review the content. Building network. By providing an environment for a group of people to learn together, you give them the opportunity to interact, build relationships and grow as a team. Distraction free environment. When your learners are distracted, their retention rate decreases. By having a dedicated education area, they are not tempted to check their email, scroll through social media, or work on something else. Engaging and interactive. When your learners are sitting in their training, they can be engaged with hands-on activities, open dialogue, and interaction with the instructor and all the learners. Expenses. There are recurring expenses tied to instructor-led training, such as venue rental, instructor fee, travel expenses, cutting into employee productivity, training materials, food and drink, etc. Time away from work. While it may be good to get your learners away from the distractions of the office, the downside is that they are away from the office. Virtual learning tools allow learners to work around their schedule but instructor-led training requires workers to block off a day or a few days to be away from the office and their normal duties. And finally, in this video, we covered the basics of instructor-led training. And this video ends here. I hope you understood. Thank you.